Now we are heading to the paint hangar. 747 completely wrap up. It's a bit like graffiti right now. He's making a big patch of blue. You yeah. built some part of the 787 here. Right, I want right. to take one home because I want to have a memorabilia. <laughs> you built A320 chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate? I'm here at the Incheon Airport air cargo terminal. Just like a passenger aircraft, first class cabin here. Where's the cargo? You have to use this net and this strap. We're in the catering unit, right? Yeah. What on earth is this? This looks like a jelly kind of thing. Yes, it's a jelly. We are producing 30,000 meals averagely in a day. Let me, let me show you our Korean specialty, which we call bibimbap. Monday morning in Korea, flying to Busan to discover some aviation tech behind the scenes today. Just landed at Busan. What a beautiful landing with the hills and the sea. And now let's check out some aerospace tech here. Just arrived at the Korean Air Busan Tech Center. We're gonna have a tour here. Now we are heading to the paint hangar, and then your favorite plane is there. You know my favorite airplane, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Wow, this is quite a treat seeing a 747 completely wrap up. It's like it's got a coating outside, right? First time seeing something like this. Hello, uh, welcome to Korean Air uh, Paint Hangar. Uh, this paint hangar is able to accommodate up to the size of A30 aircraft. And what you're seeing behind me is a 747-8. How long it take to paint a 747-8 behind? As for 747-8 behind me, it takes about 11 days uh, to perform whole painting. If you take a look above there, uh, there are a lot of the uh, diffusers up there. Uh, there are like 170 of them and what this does is that uh, it blows out uh, a, a large amount of the air onto the aircraft creating this air curtain making sure that all the paint uh, mist is performed within this parameter and um, we are getting ready for the process called the uh, uh, lettering uh, on the side of the uh, uh, aircraft this is the beginning of mixing up the paint just like you paint your car you paint your house right Absolutely. Oh. If you take a look at over there, it is the equivalent color of that Korean Air. So. Oh, it's the writing, the Korean Air. It's done, mask done. We're gonna get up there to see how they paint Korean Air letter. Okay, now we are in the middle of the uh, painting process called the lettering. Uh, the painting, uh, the lettering involves uh, painting the Korean Air letters as well as the logo by covering the rest of the area with uh, masking. You can see the Korean Air letters is being done by, uh, with the blue colors by the way and we are doing with the process called electrostatic uh, painting process where the aircraft itself is taken to be the positive polarity and the painting becomes a negative polarity so that once it gets attached to it, it becomes really firm and hard. It's a bit like graffiti right now. He's making a big patch of blue right. and then there's a masking. Right. So like make sure the letter, you can see the mask here. Right. So the word will be painted exactly the blue the way. So after everything is done, uh, we're going to remove this uh, uh, masking tapes so that uh, the painting could be done really good and nice manner. So another uh, thing to note is that uh, the painting uh, needs to be done under this uh, right humidity and right temperature. If it becomes too humid or too uh, high temperature, uh, the painting is not just gonna work fine. Hello, Sam. Uh, welcome to the company center and my name is Seungyeon Lee. And uh, do you know the Korean Air is the only one airline who manufactured the Boeing parts 
I'm gonna show you the 787 part and then 737 part. So what airplane part this is? This looks like a cone. Oh yeah, right. This is the, for the uh, 787 for Boeing program. And it is located for the uh, end of the aircraft. Oh, the tail cone. Yeah, right. Right, the APU goes right inside. Uh, right, right. The tail cone you built here. Yeah, right. That's pretty important. You yeah. built some part of the 787 here. Right, it is made by a composite material in this facility. Can you guess what this part is? This part, right? Yeah, right. This is part of like the, the wingtip, right? Yeah, right. But I don't know which airplane this is. Because uh, I, I, I lost the perspective, the size. Because the wingtip is the tiny part at the end of the right, wing. Right. Is it a 787 or 737 uh, Max? Actually, this, for, uh, this is for 787. 787. That's yeah. it, the wingtip. Right, I want right. to take one home because I want to <laughs> have a memorabilia. Hey, Sam, I'm going to test you. Do you think what is this? This one? No idea. It looks like some sort of cones here. It's definitely a 787 part, right? Uh, yeah, this is a flap support fairing. It's, uh, it's underneath, underneath the wing. The wing. Yeah, it's underneath ah. the wing. It's the uh, fairing underneath the wing next to the flaps, I think. Yeah, right. Underneath the flaps, yeah. yeah. So it's and built here as well. Right, and this is also made by a composite material. So what part is this? This looks like a winglet. Which airplane this is? Oh, this is for 737. 737? Yeah. Oh, I see. The smaller one, the big one, the, the split winglets, right? Right. It's built here in Korea. Yeah, right. Impressive. I didn't know where it was built. I thought everything was built in the US, you know? You saw a lot of point parts. So why don't we see an Airbus part? There's right an now? Airbus part yeah, as well. Right. Let's go. go. Hello, Sam. Welcome to the Airbus Assembly Center. We built Airbus A320 chocolate here. You built A320 chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolates. Chocolate. Chocolates. It's not a chocolate factory. Yeah, sharklet. A factory here. Sharklet. Sharklet. How many sharklets you built? It's, it's almost 4,000 ships have so far. 4,000 on yeah. 2,000 airplanes. Right. This is another Airbus model. Do you know which one is? This one's different to the Air A320. I have no idea. I think it's a uh, bigger one. The answer is there. Let's see the answer. It's Neo A330. Oh, it's the 330 Neo pointing up. So, how long will it take you to make one of these? It's gonna be a total of two weeks for manufacture this. Two weeks, you make one sharklet out of here? Yes, two weeks. <laughs> We're growing, we're building our wings here. There you go. Now, what's a quick tour? I saw where they built a Boeing and Airbus part and the painting a 747. Now, I'm gonna take a flight back to Seoul to see the Korean Air crew training and the cargo. See you. Let's put our caps on. <laughs> We're in the catering unit, right? Yes, Let's yes. Let's see how the in-flight meals are made for Korean Air. Yes. Let's do it. I'm gonna warn you guys, right? Better don't be hungry now. Very clean. Yes. Put your germs. Before I get into the kitchen, uh, we, uh, we have to do like this. Yeah? So every day you go inside the kitchen, in and out, you every, have to do this? Not every day, every time. Every time? Yes. It's actually more prep than going to a hospital to come to catering. Yes. Okay, now we finally go. Okay, okay welcome, welcome Sam to, to Korean Air Catering Center. So this is the place that we are producing uh, the meal for Korean Air and we produce uh, 70,000 meals a day before COVID. But now we are producing uh, 30,000 meals averagely in a day. So, so let, me, let me show you our Korean specialty, which we call bibimbap. So this is a kind of a Korean specialty, what we call bibimbap, which is the mixed vegetable with steamed rice with hot pepper sauce. So for Korean Air, they are having a, a eight different type of vegetable, like a, like a bell flower root here, and two different type of uh, mushroom, and zucchini, carrots, uh, soybean sprout, that kind of thing. This makes uh, the, the dish very colorful and looks nice. What on earth is this? This looks like a jelly kind of thing. Yes, it's a jelly made of uh, acorn. 
Acorn. Yeah, acorn. Acorn yeah. jelly. So you know the, the fruit of a uh, oak tree. This is an appetizer dish or what? Oh, so no. We are serving this one as a uh, one of the main dish. A main course. Korean. This is. We serve actually this dish with a uh, bulgogi. You know Korean specialty ah, bulgogi. Ah, you have bulgogi. Yeah, yeah and, the beef. And and with the uh, steamed rice. We, we call this one mukbap. Mukbap. Yes. Mupap. Yes. So on your next Korean air flight, look out for this dish. I haven't tried this one. I need to try it. <laughs> what is this? This is Korean. Uh, no, this is Chinese style uh, squid dish. This is a Chinese style squid. Yes. I like these belts. These belts is. This is how they played up with the belt. This is economy class, right? No, no, no. This is for Korean as a business class. This is for business class? Yes. From scallops. Oh, scallop, yes. I think Korean people like seafood. Correct. Like seafood yeah, a lovely, lot. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. I love that. You like seafood too. I like ah. that. <laughs> They are working on the economic class uh, uh, meal plating and they are dishing up the beef glass with the uh, potato wedges here. Oh, massive. Look at this. Yeah. There's many kilos of beef here. Yes, yes. Like 100 kilos of beef. I have a question for you. Uh -huh. How do you not get hungry here in the kitchen? So uh, much food here, so smell is amazing here. How do yes. you not get hungry, right? That's a really good question. Actually, I've been <laughs> working here more than 34 four years. Yeah? Well, I'm still hungry. But... <laughs> so after seeing all the ingredients, this is the final, the bibimbap. Correct. But I think on Korean air, you have bibimbap many years, right? Is it only yes. first in business class? Oh, no, no, no. Also in economy you have? Yes, we do. As far as I remember, we started for Bimbap size for economic class from 1997. Uh, that was uh, July 15, I remember, on the flight to Los Angeles, of which our flight number was 17. KE-17. Correct, yes. I also know this flight number because I was on the RAM at Los yeah. Angeles seeing the 747-A nowadays coming in. Yeah. Well, it came a long way and yes, yes. long live the bim bim bop. Yes, 